Welcome everyone to Lane Stadium, birthplace of Beamer Ball, where they will touch the hokey stone and come alive for Virginia Tech. What an exciting matchup we have in store for you this afternoon, built around the pageantry, tradition, and everything that makes college football great. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Washington Huskies, taking on a team from the ACC, the Virginia Tech Hokies. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Washington likely to try to boot it deep to get things started. Here he comes with the return. Not a lot of space to be found. team and they stop him at the 21. Here comes the offense on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Makes his connection. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Yeah, nice job by the defense. That's what you're supposed to do. As soon as they catch the football, you want to limit the yards after the catch. And he went nowhere after the catch. Nice job by the D. And now on second down for this offense. Using his legs, it's Tootin. Not much there, picks up a couple through the 22. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there, but they gotta do a great job gang tackling, because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. And that is how you silence this raucous crowd. Defensively on the road, first drive of the game, setting the tone, getting a huge sack on third down. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Gets set, first down. Wide receiver shows motion. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. The Huskies racing to the line in the hurry up. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. How many ways can I make you think, right? First drive, out the gates, get it to my playmaker, going full speed across the formation with a touch pass. You better be able to adjust to it. Then when you adjust to it, I'm going to have an adjustment to your adjustment because I'm always right. I'm an offensive guy. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Got out of trouble and throws. And the freshman just threw it behind him that time. A third and long coming up here. Wide receiver coming across in motion. But jet sweep pass. 
And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Not really looking to score threes. It would have been a 50-yard field goal attempt. The offense trying to convert on fourth down. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And they'll pass on the 50-yard field goal attempt and go for it on fourth down from the 33. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's going to take off. He saw just enough daylight to move the sticks and get it done with his legs. Man, how tough is this guy to defend? He drops back, everything tells you pass, and then he scrambles and gets the first down. Just so hard to defend. Looking to go up top on first down. Here he goes breaking the pocket. Takes a hit as he fires. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. That really good job by the defense. They got to understand that boy can fly. So when he gets outside the pocket, I got to make sure I'm ready to go get him. You could tell he was still being a passer. He wanted to throw the football. Nice job closing under control getting a hit on the quarterback and affecting the throw. Now he'll let one fly down the left side. Oh, that is a throw that is just going to haunt this quarterback. He had his target wide open running deep. That should be a touchdown, but the key overthrew him. That is going to haunt this quarterback tonight. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Got his man to the left. There to make the tackle, and that's how we'll wrap up this first period. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. Williams looking for a man. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Those are hard for offensive linemen when they get beat. You're going, no, look out for your blind side. Watch out. With that, great job rushing the quarterback, getting him on the ground, and getting the football out. A little extra bonus. Nice job by the defense getting nasty. On the ground, it's Tootin. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and force a tackle for a loss. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Oh, what a grab by the defense. And he has taken it all the way back. Touchdown, Huskies. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense, go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. He'll bring it out. It's Thomas. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game. And the pass is intercepted. Takes it the other way. Oh, that was a terrific return as he takes it to the nine. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. The defense calls the timeout their second of the day as they try to get their act together. And the offense suddenly with an opportunity it couldn't have expected with a first and goal after the pick. Williams will pass. Pocket starts to collect. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. And the defense has it. They're going the other way. Pass to 50. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Hokie. Don't just get the ball. Score with the ball, and the defense did. Running up to add another. Right down the boulevard. 
That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, one with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Wants to throw on first down. Now adjusting. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. The short hands. It's Boston. Makes the stop at the 30, but a big 15-yard pickup gets him out of trouble. And when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. Quick strike complete. He's brought down. Solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. The hurry up now. Second down. Clock ticking. He's looking to throw. Dances away to buy time. He throws back across his body, and it's picked off. Didn't let him get loose on the return, but he'll take it as they have the ball at the 47. And that's why as quarterbacks, you cannot telegraph the pass. You cannot stare down your receivers because these defenders, they're watching it. And that defender knew exactly where the QB was going with that football, and that's why he picked it up. Here's the handoff. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. The coach is always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Lost one deep down the right side. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, beat that passing game up, and keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Washington is ready to go back on the attack. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be conserved. If we're a little bit... Nothing but green ahead. And I wasn't sure they were going to be able to catch him. They finally did, but they gave up a huge play. One big play, and you go from a little backed up to threatening. It's first and ten from the 40. Catch in the middle, it's Hunter. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. And the Huskies will hustle to the line. Comes out throwing on first down. Buys a little time. Showing all kinds of confidence in that arm, throwing back to the right. Fires into traffic, it's picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And again, that's the cardinal sin playing the quarterback position, rolling out to the left as a righty and then trying to throw it back into the middle of the field. You're just making it too easy on the defense. You might complete one of those every 10 tries. Just not a good decision. Dropping back, it's Drones. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And that is interception number three on the day. Looking for more room. Running inside the 20. Touchdown, Huskies. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender, seeing that ball in the end zone. Your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy. Secure it. Get you a touchdown. Starts to scramble to the left. He gets into the end zone to convert, and they'll tack on a couple right before the half. 
You get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. Coming out with it, it's Thomas. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. One more play before the teams head to the locker room. Going to run it. It's Tootin. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. That's the end of the first half with the score. I guess they're trying to send a message to start this second half, lined up for an onside kick. Few anxious moments there, but the hands team, true to its name, as they make the grab and get the ball. Well, they're trying to pounce on their opponent with the lead in the second half, trying to steal a possession, but give the return team credit. They may not have been set up perfectly for that onside kick, but they're Johnny on the spot, and now their offense is licking their chops, hoping to go down and score. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. Williams looking for a man. Quarterback now breaking the field. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. Trying to pick up a first down. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. The Huskies want to crank the tempo. Quick pass on the fly motion. Open runway ahead. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. This defense really needs to be careful, and they have to play with great eye discipline, understanding where the football is at all times. Moving forward, they have got to know if this guy has the ball, because he is dangerous in space. Feeling some heat. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to power to the goal line. Dragged down at the six after a pickup of two. This has been really good for the defense, too. It's kind of a bend-don't-break mentality, right? Really bowing up with your backs against the wall. If you can win this next third down, try to force the opponent into a field. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Oh, look what I found. The offense keeps it. That ball carrier is very lucky. That easily could have ended up in the hands of the defense. You have got to do a better job with ball security. Now it looks as if they'll settle for the field goal try. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's Tootin. Gets it across the 20 to the 21, and not quite what he would have picked up just taking the touchback. We're about to get another look at this hooky offense. He wants to start this drive with a pass. And it is another interception. Just a terrible struggle for this quarterback. Touchdown, Washington! The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too, now. Look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back. Man. He's got the two-point conversion, and they build on that lead. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. Fielded in the end zone. It's two. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. 
And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it. But... And here's the fifth interception by this quarterback. Trying to take it back. And a big return here as they finally get him down inside the 20. I'll tell you what, when you come out of your own end zone, you know, in the shadow of your own end zone, a lot of bad things can happen. You want to got to get a few first downs, get some space. So if you punt after that point, you can pin them a little bit deep. This is the exact opposite of what happened. Now you set them up in beautiful scoring field position already. Really bad play by the offense. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. From the gun, the running back has it. Dropped after a pickup of four down to the 16. Washington wants to go quickly. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. With the catch, it's Hunter. They make the stop at the five-yard line, but they've got it first and goal. Really nice job there of the quarterback. Reading coverage, he knew exactly where to go with the football and at what exact time. The timing could not have been better. They get the completion on third down, setting up first and goal. He's moving out of the pocket. And he's got it! Touchdown, Husky! The offense did exactly what it needed to do, getting the ball in field position like that. It's that killer mentality. You step on their throat, you keep your foot down. When you get opportunities like that, they are golden chances to put touchdowns on the board. The offense took care of business. Keeps the play going, and he's wrestled to the ground. And these decisions to go for two, you see more and more of it throughout a game, chasing points, and then in the end, you wonder if this just comes back to bite you. 14. About to kick it off Number after punching it in for the touchdown. Sets the kick off. He'll bring it out. It's Tootin. He stopped at the 23, a couple yards short of where he would have been with a touchback. The opening play of this drive will come from their own 23. They'll start this drive with a pass. He'll off one deep down the left side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Hokie. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this in running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get it in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. This should be the last play of the quarter. To the ground with the back. They get him down, and that'll be the final play of the third period. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. They want that clock to run. Smacks it with the stiff arm. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific.
That's got to be demoralizing if you're the defense. You're trailing. You need to get the ball back. you got to get off the field, but you can't stop the run when they're going between the tackles. This defense is going to have to get a lot more physical, especially in the middle. They're down to the 32-yard line on first and 10. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. The delay of game pushes the offense back. A first down for the offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Washington right back to the line. Williams will pass. Quarterback on the move, still looking. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. And it's intercepted, maybe breathing a little life into this team. The sudden change on the turnover, and man, he was looking for running room. Couldn't find that, but they'll have it at the 22. Let's go. Talk about having one foot in the grave. This was almost over. They're up by two possessions in the fourth quarter, and they got the football. Thank goodness they're choosing to throw the football, not run the clock. Man, we needed that pick. Now it's the offense's turn to go out and make something happen. They'll throw it on first down. They're bringing heat. They get to him as he throws. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Let's go, Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Dialing up a second down pass play. He's taking the deep shot. And he makes the catch inside the 25. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Yeah, and, and that's step one. Great job by this offense getting in the end zone. Now you've got to go get the stop. You've got to get the football back got to find a way to do something to create a turnover, get an onside, to get the football back, to get back in this football game. First part of the equation complete with the touchdown. Now the two-point try if you want to make the deficit just a field goal. Dumps it to the back. Makes the grab in the end zone for the two-point conversion, and that could be big as it draws them to within a field goal. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. Touchdown they needed now trailing by a field goal. They'll line up for the onside kick. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. Ball security is at a premium. You cannot turn the football over at this point. The defense has three timeouts left, David, so probably conservative play calling here. You're expecting them to try to run to ice this game. Conservative, I know they're going to be aggressive, but I also know that one first down ends this football game. Just feeding his pads to the defense as he gets it to the 36. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Bowl will they 
will be on third down after that last run. Williams looking for a man. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Really nice timing. Nice job by the quarterback. He drops back to pass. But how about saving your best for when it matters most late in the ballgame? Biggest run of the day in a big moment. Washington has it and a fresh set of downs. The give and tick, 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 tick. And he's loose and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Washington. And you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And it was capped off with an impressive 18-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And we're about to get another look at this hooky offense. No time to feel sorry for yourself here, Jesse. There's still a chance, but you've got to get it. He's going to throw deep right side. And that'll be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. And the Hokies want to move quickly. Back to throw. It's Thrones. Quarterback adapting. He's going to run it. Good little pickup there as he saw some daylight and got what he could. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. Quarterback empties his backfield. Shotgun snap on third down. Trying to make magic with his feet. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Man, that's so frustrating. It happens so fast. He just pulls it down. It looks like pass. He pulls it down, and he's gone. Just like that, chewing up yards. So much speed, so hard to stop. He lost one down the sideline. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. Give him six and give them a chance with the late touchdown still alive in this one. If we had any chance to make this happen, we had to score with a little bit of time on the clock. Now we need a miracle. Now, now we need to kick the onside, get an onside kick, and somehow, some way, make a big play. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they light up the scoreboard covering 65 yards on that touchdown pass. Just over 20 seconds to play, and they must recover this onside kick to have a chance. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. And this is why you put your hands team on the field most of the time when you know it's coming and you put those guys that are great catchers of the football. The first guys, what do they do? They go block. They go blow somebody up. The next guys catch the football, secure it, get your butt on the ground. And most of the time when you do this, the ball game is over. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. 
Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Dances away. To the end zone, and it's picked off. And he runs out of bounds with the interception, and that is how we'll finish off this game. It came down to the final quarter. Clutch plays, guys delivered, and they get the close win. Yeah, Reese, big-time players make big plays in big games, and that's what happened in this circuit.